Hello and welcome to a new video on the channel. I'm your host Adam Ferns and I am going to be ranking all the realm slash locations that was in the main series of Beast Quest. Um, and I'm only saying main series because in specials most of them are in Vantia and one is set in Rion, which um one of which series 14 takes place in Rion as well, so might as well just say the main series. So um, there are 18 realms slash locations that I have at my disposal here um, throughout the 24 seasons. Most of them were in Avantia, by the way. Two was in Gwildor, and that is it, because there's no more repeat ones. So um, well, there was technically Kaonia, but I'm not going to count that one. Um, this is my ranking from worst to best slash locations out of what they possess in it and whether it would be a good place to live well i most likely want to live over what i wouldn't um and going up to probably uh yeah 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 up until 10th up until the 10th place um i would not be happy to live in that location but afterwards any of the others I'll be okay with. Uh, so please leave in the comments below where you'll be, which realm you'll be happy to live in. And uh, let's get right into this ranking. Coming in last place, or 18th place, is the Forbidden Lands. And I put this one here as it's one of the smaller realms in um, the world of Beast Quest. What, one of the smaller ones. It doesn't really possess anything apart from a dead dead peaks, dead canyon, and a dead forest. There's nothing there that's alive. Uh, probably Luna's Club Cubs if they're still alive, and probably Hyenas, I think. Um, nothing else there, nothing of any value that can help you survive there. Uh, hence why it's called Forbidden. 17th place is the Wildlands. Same reason as Forbidden Lands, risky to live there there are stuff there that are alive like um a swamp and uh yeah just a swamp with trees and all that there there are people that live there such as the tribes but um unfortunately i wouldn't want to live there as i'm not a big fan of swamps and i'm not a big fan of icy deserts so yeah that can go away right now um we didn't get to see much of it because there's only three notable lake locations. The mangrove swamp, the desert, and the icy desert, and the uh, the, the castle thing. Um, nothing else is worth mentioning there, so moving on. Uh, 16th place we have the... Uh, I need to find it now. Oh yeah, Draconia. Uh, the Kingdom of Dragons. Uh... <laughs> I mean, in Quag, Ferno said it himself, Draconia is no place for humans. And as soon as you, as soon as they go through the portal into Draconia, you see why instantly, because there's pools of lava go, spurting up everywhere. A jungle that can kill anyone with literally anything that's there. Uh, an icy lake and um, a bone graveyard. It is terrible there. There are lizard people that live there draconians but um they only live there because they adapted to the environment but i would not want to live there at all um 15th place is the gildorian borderlands barely anyone lives here or lives there and um it's clear why because the beasts aren't used to seeing humans at all hence why they're so aggressive there so i don't think barely anyone lives there no one lives there um and to, it's it's very desolate and um if there's gonna be beasts there that don't really like having company i wouldn't want to be there uh, actually yeah there are people that live in where Oko lives but Oko still hasn't seen humans for ages so yeah that's that's actually a plot hole 14th place is the trial of heroes now, I wouldn't want to live at the trials, Trial of Heroes in any of the locations, whether it's where Krytor is or where Drogan is, because they're where mainly humans are, um, because 
I'll because there's always gonna every now and then there's gonna be a couple people come in saying claiming they're gonna be master or mistress of the beasts and then that means oh crap a bat's gonna come in or oh crap a monkey's gonna come in. It's just gonna get uh really annoying just to find out you build up so much in your land and then two people come along and you're like, right, time to say bye bye to the land. It's always like this. Thirteenth place is the Warriors Road. Now, kind of the same reason with the Trial of Heroes. Like, um, I'm not really sure where I can pick up. Let's try. Let's say Skurix place. Um, you're near a forest, and you find out that oh, great people disappeared again. People disappeared. Why are they always disappearing? Um, and find out uh, it's because someone's going along this road to be. Uh, worthy of being master of the beast it's it's just the reason why it's got, oh, great okay you just hurry up because i want I, we want our people back okay it's gonna get annoying very quickly and it's kind of like the same thing with child of heroes like <laughs> you're going to get annoyed with the fact you grow up with your village so much and then it just gets destroyed from the beast uh moving on to 12th place is gorgonia now, I wouldn't want to live here for the simple reason, everything will kill you. And uh, even the beasts, if you have nothing to do with them, they can kill you and they will kill you because they're that aggressive. Um, but in the books, we we see them only going for the rebels, which explains why, because they work for Marvel and the rebels don't. But um, I'm confident they will go for you if they can't find rebels. Uh, 11th place is Pyloris, um, and that's for the simple reason uh, I'm not sticking to the rituals of Electro, and I'm not a monkey person. The reason why I'm not sticking to the rituals of Electro is because I'm not dealing with the fact that we have to sacrifice somebody just to get water. And, um, like, when I. and giant scorpions along with the terrifying beasts that live here. It's not worth it, honestly. Tenth place is the Isle of Ghosts. Another reason I want to live here is that I'm human. I won't last long in there either. Um, and the, that forest especially is somewhere that is just a bit unsettling to be in. Uh, and with those beasts, um, especially Zulok and Akira, because I know they're still alive. Uh, even after Tom, anyway. Um... They are very... T well, no, Ork Zulok is very territorial. Okira, probably territorial, um, but we don't know. Now we're going into the kingdoms that I wouldn't mind living in, but I prefer not to. Ninth place is Rion. Now, like the Forbidden Lands, it's a bit of a small kingdom. I think this is actually the smallest one. Um, and it's only there because uh, I don't really fancy living near a labyrinth. And also, um, having six beasts, two of which are dragons, one's a phoenix, one's a snake, one's a monkey, and one's a bull. Uh, not a good batch of beasts I'll want to live near, because two dragons, um, okay, a phoenix, okay, at least you won't die. And then those three, uh, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I don't want that. Uh, eighth place is Makai. The reason why Mackay is here is because it's not really that good. Because even though the people there are safe from the beasts, um, even before Rio came, came, the real reason why I wouldn't want to live there is because it is a bit... Um, I, was, I think the people are just a bit too fragile there because... They get threatened once, and they do exactly what anyone asks them to do, so. No, no. Seventh place, Seraph. Um, time goes by really quickly up there. Uh, yeah, up there. Um, that's pretty much it, though. But knowing that you live in the same realm as where the Eternal Flame is, it's... Um, a bit unsettling, because you know there's going to be evil people trying to get to that. And knowing it's guarded by a snake beast is good. But I wouldn't say it's great. If you had more beasts there guarding that internal flame, 
maybe I want to live there, but since it's just the one, no. Sixth place is Kaonia, and as he even says it in the name of the title of the book that it's from, in the, the title of the series it's from, and also in the name of the realm. It means chaos, meaning there's never going to be a peaceful moment there. A haunted forest and um, a haunted cornfield as well as a mine that is flooded. The main stock of income is from that mine which is flooded so not a good thing. So then uh, not really good to rely on so like, not a really good way to get income because A the mine's flooded and that's the only way to get income. Apart from the cornfield but that's haunted. So uh, moving on. Fifth place, Tavania. Essentially Avantia is... <laughs> Mother up the letters and it is a bounce here. Uh, but yeah, I'm just making sure it is. Um, but I think the reason why I wouldn't want to live here is that I'm just going to get it easy confused with a bounce here. Um, not to mention, I don't think there's a king there either. And for a successful kingdom, you need a um, sorry, uh, uh, a good king. So no Savania for me. Fourth place is Hengrau. Now, to me, I personally won't mind having wings. Uh, everything there is fine. I don't think there's much ways to get income, but it's relatively nice. Uh, I don't think there's a ruler. If there is, I'm clearly forgetting about it, but I don't care because it's series 11. But let's go on to third place. Third place is Tangala. Now, Tangala's here for the simple reason, as of the remaining three kingdoms, it's the smallest out of all of them. And it has the least amount of stuff there. Um, out of all the Tangala, I'll be happy to live near the lake. So if I am lucky enough to see the beast, it'll be my favourite from that. And the least terrifying from that series anyway. Um, however, knowing that we only have one eye... Um, I said it in my beast review, I say, I'm not going to say it again, but if you watch my beast review and you know exactly what I'm going to say if I saw that beast with only one eye. <laughs> Just, if you know Rocket Raccoon, you, you, you know it now. Okay, second place is Gwildor. Now, Gwildor is a good place, it has a better chunk of beasts than first place, which you already know anyway. Um, but the reason why I chose... Uh, Gwildor to be second is that the ruler, if it took place before series 17 and 16, is a bit corrupt, so wouldn't give too, wouldn't give much, uh, wouldn't give too craps about any problems that may occur within his kingdom, because Jeng is kind of a douchebag. Um, everywhere else, uh, there are, there's plenty of sources of income from there, whether it's um, being in the marketplace where Tremor lives near, or whether it's in Freshnor where Koldo lives. Uh, or is it Freeshaw? Not sure. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of the other beasts. Whether it's at the fishing village where Crab is, or in the farmland where Hawkeye is. You're probably going to have a beast live near there, so it'll be protecting you. And it's probably... Um, they might help you if you're lucky, especially Hawkeye with the hurricane thing. Uh, but of course, the place I would like to live in the most is Avantia. Um, now, understandable, it's not the best kingdom to live in, but it is the best kingdom in Beast Quest to live in. Because um, everything seems fine there, uh, the only problem, um, great source of income, anywhere you go you can earn money there with any of the jobs that can be there. Um, I'll probably be in the um, central plains with the livestock kind of thing. That's what I'll be happy with doing. Or the fishing village, I'm not sure. I'll be happy with any. Um, but the only problem is with Avantia being the place that I'll want to live in. You're going to be the main target for beasts. Uh, <laughs> You're going to be the main target for beasts, whether it's they're from the underground, whether they're from the gallery of tombs just being revived, or whether they're created by an evil wizard. You're going to be uh, the main target for beasts, so deal with it. 
so with that being said, that is actually all for this time. Um, but if I got to choose out of any of the kingdoms I know of in any universe to live in, uh, I'm going to go with Wakanda. But uh, Wakanda forever. Uh, sorry, I watched that film yesterday. So <laughs> Anyway, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.